Hello. It's Stan's Record Service. I'm going to show you how to um, tow a car with the trailer, or what you got to do a, to tow a car with the regular trailer. Like this trailer right in front of me. This is a 1998 Beacon 18-foot car hauler. They call it a car hauler because they put these ramps on the back and this little channel across the back which um, they call it a car hauler but it's not really it's not really uh, prepared for a car hauler because when I bought, I bought it from Vulcan Towing for like 1500 bucks way back when. But uh, I had to uh, um, I welded on these little gadgets here, little chain holes. And somebody from Vulcan had had two of these here and there. And they were just uh, bolts through wood. So they were pretty useless. And then I welded uh, some uh, more of these chain gadgets up here. Chain pockets. And then I just bought a, a winch from AIH. And had to make me a little homemade... Uh, um, this, I put this little plate on this little thing with the spring to put some tension like a, oh, it's a winch tensioner so when you start when you start spooling this out this stupid cable just goes just goes nuts and just goes everywhere and then you gotta pull it all the way out and pull it all the way in but anyways you just gotta mount a winch like this on it this normally had a little, uh, it, ha it normally had a little, uh, uh, a hitch type mount with the winch type mount on it. And I didn't, I didn't build one. I didn't get around to it. I'm going to, that's the style I'm going to have on this. Because then you can just pop your winch off, throw it in the back of your truck and your receiver on your favorite truck or, or if, or buddy's truck throw a bat and you just throw a battery in the in the bed and you're and you you're you're ready to do some winch outs but anyways uh you hook up you get your four pockets there's there's one there's uh one two you got four so then you gotta get yourself some uh you don't have to have these these just make it easy to um, hook around the axle or a arm or a cab mount, but if you just got just this little uh, grab hook, this has got the little R hook and then the T hook that goes in the frame, and and then of course you got your little mini J. That's your mini J right there, big tow hook, and. Then you gotta have, uh, then you got another, uh, this little cluster, it's got everything on it. You know, I see all these people making videos and doing this stuff when, and doing all this stuff when handed. Well, I tell ya. <laughs> I think I gotta give them credit because I can't do it. <coughs> Anyways, this has got this has got your T hook, your mini J, and your, uh, your they call it an R hook. And honestly, I've never really used it that much. But anyways, you gotta have this hook that in there. This goes into your chain uh, into your frame. Or, uh, there's always a hole but you can always find something to stick one of these things in no problem 
And there's uh, there's my favorite dog, my fishing buddy Dexter. And then um, the second thing you need to invest in, besides having now these chains, these these here, these go on the back. These are for the back. There's one. There's two two of these, so you can put two chains on the back, around the axle or frame or preferably around the axle or something that's not going to be moving up and down. Because that's you don't want to put it on something like on the frame really on the back like that because it's going to be bouncing. It's best to put it on something that's going to be like the axle. It's something that's not going to be doing that. But if if you if you have to, you have to. Anyways. You got another strap like that on the other side. And uh, you need to invest in this. This has got the same little thing. Combination of your mini J and your T hook and your big grab grab hook or your uh, tail hook. I see everybody else just wrapping chains or hooking the hooking the hook around the bumper or hooking it around whatever, but that works, but the best the best thing is to hook hook. Get your go ahead and call up at one of the people that sell these things. Get yourself a bridle. They make them in chain or nylon strap. And uh, then the second thing you need to get, real important, is a snatch block. So if you're hauling, if you're pulling on something really light, not that strenuous or whatever, you can single line it. But will you stop? Damn, I'm a little bit I'm okay, but constant barrage is not. Calm down. You need to get yourself the snatch block, because then you hook. Then this, instead of that going to the vehicle, this goes to the vehicle. And that, you hook back up here. You can hook that back up here to um, one, of the, one of these eyelets, if you will, like. Or... Uh, there's supposed to be a little spot there, but I didn't get the, a little thing. I haven't got it hooked up yet. It's it's like that thing on the end. It's like one of them things. Or that thing, I could just pop that thing off. And pop that right up there. But I've been just hooking the hook in one of these chains, one of these hooks up here. And what that does, instead of giving you eight, that, that doubles your winching power. So instead of 8,000, it could be 14 or 16,000. But... That saves your winch motor a lot. And um, the winch is only, listen to this, the winch is only for pulling the vehicle on. It's not for holding. These little, these little straps here is what's going to hold your car on. Because that winch uh, back could back off. It's not a hydraulic like that truck over there it's got a hydraulic winch this thing here you can only tighten it up so much and then it goes back to where the brake catches it but yeah it's just for pulling the vehicle on strictly do not tow with just that winch line you want to hook up even if it's another chain and a winch binder uh a, a, not a winch binder but a chain binder i mean or even a cut you just you just want to have something besides just that and then, of course, you need to have your uh, vehicle license and registered and all that happy horse shit. And always, uh, before you go out, check your wear burns. Even if they've said they've been repacked and they're all brand new and they're this and that, take the time and energy, take them off, and check them out. Make sure the wheel burns are good. Make sure your brakes are good. It only takes you couple hours do the whole trailer and uh, and you can see my uh, my board that I was supposed to have my winch or my little uh, jack stand on is back there and now my little uh, trailer jack is uh, buried in the mud and I know that that battery I know that's I know that looks pretty bad, and it is pretty bad, but um, there was, there was just, there was a, do you see these bolts here? There was a really neat little box here that, uh, um, 
<laughs> that that battery was in. And it had my little on-off switch on it. And it had something else in it. And you won't believe it that <laughs> I told somebody to get that box, to get the battery out of the box. Well, they bought me the whole box. I'm not kidding you. They literally, they literally ripped. I'm not joking. They literally grabbed this whole box and they ripped it off here and brought me the whole box and the battery. I was like, okay. But yeah, I want to put a, a nice little box here so I can have all my chains and the straps in it. Because these straps normally don't sit out here. We just got done. Um, we just got done hauling that truck in. But anyways, this is uh, this is a uh, how do you uh, can safely tow a car with a uh, with a car trailer. Anyways, comment, like, and subscribe. If you see something you like, somebody else might like it. So, anyways, have a wonderful day. Bye.